like as promised, Andy Wardle here, back out, up a hill, while camping in the tent, sunglasses on, passion you again, 1st of 2024. Hope you're all well. Looking forward to tonight's tunes. First beer is open. It's brass out here. Brass, I tell you. <laughs> P.S. I think you'd make a great Doctor Who mind. <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm not a doctor. He's a doctor. He's the doctor. I think he'd make a great Doctor Who. Drew. Both. Yep. Back out. Again, this is after the uh, the debacle of the uh, North Coast 500. Oh, it took really poorly. Then I'll have that video up before this one. I was ill. Still not right. I'm still not right. I just got a bit of a cough, right? Just struggling a bit. But I'm hoping that this will clear us out a bit. I haven't had any fresh air for about four days. So I thought it's a nice enough day. It is a nice day. It's calm, you see, no wind. It's chilly like. It is December after all. No, January. It's January. I don't know. I don't know what day it is. But yeah, it's come out not far, not far from home and not a big hike, just in case I have to go back, in case I start feeling ill. But the hope is that it clears us out and I can start breathing again. Newcastle's winning 2-0, two 2-0 nil. Two nil at Newcastle, come on, against Sunderland. FA Cup, take that Mesner. <laughs> I like this little bit of the walk here. This is a little style there. And you come down to the slippy stepping stones. Hazard away, hazard perception this, because these stones are lethal. They're really greasy. So they, they might look, oh, it's a nice dry day. Yeah, no wind, no rain. Yeah, no bother. Slippy, slippy stones. Got the green moss on. You've got to be dead careful, like, because you fall. So you're not going to get washed away downstream, but you could easily bash your head off one of these rocks. They've been done some work here, haven't they? They've, they must have cleared all the, um, there must have been a lot of debris blocking it. They've cleared it all away, so it's running. But yeah, it can be dangerous. Even little streams like that can be dodgy. It's chaos in the skies. Ah, oh, it's the um, gliders, man, the gliders. We've got the glider planes out. There's an airfield just over the back. But yeah, just be careful on greasy stones, that's all. And little river crossings can be great, but if you slip, you can probably seriously injure yourself, like even a fall of like two feet, you just bang your head the wrong way. Just common sense really. Sort of throw that in. Anyway, Newcastle just won the derby game. Three nil. Three, count them. One was an own goal, but they say if he hadn't scored the own goal, Isaac would have scored it anyway. He was just standing there waiting to poke it in. Sunderland player just booted it in his own net. Hard lines. Not like the old derby games. Sunderland aren't the same team. They literally are in a different league, Newcastle. Sunderland have got a lot of work to do. If they want to get back up there. Need new, better manager. I know, we, we wants to talk. But we were never as bad as what's in Linda. There's the glider there, then I think make it out. Silent assassin.
and I, I can feel that the chesty cough. I think it's been to go. Everybody's had it. Like everybody's had a bad cough over the holiday. You can really feel it. I'm taking my time, but it's still hard, hard going. Anyway, we're going up there, and then along, and then just here. I've come there before, and like I say, it's basically. So if I start feeling poorly through the night or whatever, it's easy enough to get back. It's an easy bail. Keep the easy bail camps for if you're not feeling 100%. Feel well enough to come out, but I'm always aware that I have been poorly. Right, enough of this whinging. Let's crack on. When you come out to these places, do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched? Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's all the Sunderland fans gone home. Look at them, the red and white on. Go on. 3-0, 3-0. Blot outdoors. So you mess now. Packs or any of the Mackums who think they're great. He's a not. That's it. That's enough of the that's enough of the racist slurs. <laughs> Forgot to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope this is a good year. I say that every time, never is. First camp of the year. Couldn't be any more of a contrast to the last camp of the year. All that rain. God, that took me nearly two weeks to dry out. <laughs> I think the tent was only only just dry. A couple of days before I went away, I was pretty drowned on that one. Oh, yeah, I can feel I haven't been out for a while. And the illness, like your chest, you know, you can feel it. But it can only be doing you good. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. As Kenny Rogers told Dolly Parton, <laughs> oh god now i'll get over it nothing like i was last week couldn't get out of bed man anyway my objective is up there so i'm nearly there just a little steep bit here and then there's a little it's just a nice little walk along there it's not too bad yeah, look, another glider out. That's the way to see the hills, isn't it? I bet you get good views of him. I'd still rather be in the plane in front, like. Anybody been in a glider? Never really fancied it. Oh, let, let him go there. <laughs> Who do you follow? Listen to that, there's not a sound. It's amazing, it must be so nice. Imagine, straight in the ground. Shouldn't say that. Anyway, come on. Lights fading. We're on the top. Here, look. Cheviot goats. Lesser spotted. Couldn't care less. Back to the grass. There's a few sheep, a couple of goats mixed in with the sheep. I <laughs> wonder how they get on. Nice sunset going down, missed that. That's west of Tours. Camped over there a while back. 
That was a brutal windy camp that, I remember that. Bit of snow still on the Cheviots, on the Cheviot. Not much like. But yeah, this is the Easter tour. One of my favourite spots, like, I do like it up here. Is that I'm going to go around the corner, there's a little tuck away a bit, and then get off the top, leave the top for the sheep and the goats. But uh, yeah, that was all right walking up there. There was a few steep bits where I was bringing up a bit of mucus. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. And uh, I think it did as it did as well. It cleared us out of it. Sometimes that's what you need, you know, just just to get out and get some fresh air, and uh, it clears your lungs and. You know what I mean? It gives you a good old clear out. We'll see. I'll let you know tomorrow if I survive. There's the goats. 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 Don't mind them really. They're just, uh, if you get downwind of them, whew, you can tell they're there. Goats. They might say the same about me, like. But um, when we come back, I'll just negotiate this a little bit. When we come back, I will be over the back of there with the tent up. Just enjoy this view for now. Eh? Look at that. That looks gnarly, that, but it's not that far away, really. You just take, you take that path there, and then you just cross across there. Coming. <laughs> ah, here we go. Nice little spot. Sheltered from the the northwesterly. I think it's coming. It's probably coming straight in the door to be fair, like. But I didn't want to sacrifice the view. It's not that bad. It's only a slight breeze. If it picks up, I'll just shut the door. Good little, um, in the summer, it's good up there for cooking and just sitting and watching the world go by, really. And the valley I came up, um, came up that way from there, from down there. I think that way somewhere. <sighs> Tell you what though, now that the sun's gone in, it's gone really cold. So I'm gonna get in, set all my gear up, and then I think we'll have a nice cup of tea. Nice warming cup of tea. Now I brought this tent because it's claim it's just a four season tent with the solid, half solid inner. So we'll find out. I mean, look at the big gap underneath it there. That might just be me, lad. That's not four season, but they reckon the inner is what makes it the four season. See how warm it is. We'll find out. Eh? Oh, come on, let's get in before them GV Yetis come back. Oh, now that I'm all set up in nice and cozy in, I've had to shut the door. I get the, the water boiling for a nice cup. Of... Loving this pot. So convenient. It's really easy just to put that on and off there, like. It's mint, man. And the heat coming off there, my hands are warm. Can't fault it, like. It is big, but you could get more stuff in it. I, I put loads in there, like um, tea bags. You can get the gas in. Put some kitchen paper in and just put the gas in. This could do with being a bit uh, shorter suit. So, Paul Messner's, his is like half that, half the height of that, so he can use that as a pot stand on the um, on the burner. So I can't do it with that one. It just sits too high, which is weird. Let me contact Fire Maple and see if we've got any like lower ones, you know, so I can use it. Because I don't know, I don't know why it just won't sort of work. It's just 
too high by about that much just enough to stop the pan from um, working properly it's strange it's really strange I'll try and show it later on I'll demonstrate it afterwards but I <laughs> I'll get on to them about it I'm sure they do smaller ones Ooh, because it's cold like it is cold now. It's meant to get down to about minus two, minus three overnight. We've got for the, the food is some nice burgers. The burgers are back in town with smoky cheddar. Bit of a, a salami selection. Coated nuts. Oh. Ruined squashed buns, they looked really nice as well. How do you transport your buns? Tell me. Oh, this is boiled, Christ. Oh God, that didn't take long at all. I uh, saw so when you put the um the frying pan on on there, right? Alright, that sits, I don't want to burn myself. That sits on there and then your pan sits on there. Well, with Paul Messner, his pan works, but with that one there, it sits too high, so the pan doesn't sizzle. I don't know. I tried it. I tried it when it was on silver in that time, and it wouldn't. Um, see, see what I mean? It's too high. That needs it, his. It's really low, so it's nearer the flame. I don't know. I'll get on to them and ask. I'll find out. I will find out. Like. Oh, yes. All right, I'm going to make a cup of tea anyway. Here we go. Cozy toes. Underneath, right, I've got like long jumps. Well, tracky bottoms. Um, uh, what are they called? Ron Hills. <laughs> Ron Hill tracky bottoms. And then on top of these, there's some mud coming up here. Um, yeah, these pants here are like windproof and sort of shower proof, but not waterproof. But them track bottoms made a big difference. I can't have the stove on too much because it just uses the gas, you know. So I've got to just warm up other ways. My hands are a bit chilly. I've got my gloves. I've got two pairs of gloves, so it should be all right. But these are um, Rab Hot Socks, they're all right, they're taking the edge off the cold. It is cold, like, it's like I say, it's going to get down about, um, it said minus three, minus four overnight. So, I've been out and colder, but, you know, it's still, it's chilly. Oh, it's chilly, like, uh, for anybody asking, uh, which I get asked a lot, like, it's a Rab 1100. Rab Ascent 1100. Nice. It's a good bag. I think I'm on the I've got the um, foil mat here in the seat of summit. I still haven't got the thermorest sorted out yet. Like they are taking it back, but I've told them I don't want it back. I've told them I don't want the Uber light. And they're saying they say no, we can't just give you a different mat, we've got to give you the same one. I don't want the same one. So if I get an Uber light off them, I'm going to put it on eBay and sell it. Put it towards a different mat. MCM, Chris says there's a, um, a, a, a it's a Thermarest NTXL or something. He recommends that one. But I know the Thermarests are quite, um, they are quite rugged mats, you know, they're quite tough. I've seen a lot of tests. It's just that uber light one. Just a load of bloody. It's not good, let's put it that way. It's not designed for what I do anyway. Somebody might get good use out of it. <laughs> not really selling it. If I want to sell it, I'm not selling it. I'm a... I'll put on um, don't use when you go camping. <laughs> just use it to look at it. <coughs> I've still got a cough. <coughs> Probably shouldn't be out like, but you know, a few beers, see how we get on with them. It's too cold to have a beer at the minute. Um, that's about it, really. I'm just, uh, I've got a, 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 I think I've got another sleeping bag coming. 
Is it, I'm going to do reviews this year, but I'm only going to review stuff that's actually practical. Like tents, I've got a tent to review, like I mentioned that. And I've been offered a, a sleeping bag, a down bag. I have to look into that. Uh, but I've, I've said I, I'll try it and see what it's like. And things like that. I'm just going to use, think, just going to do things like that, and it's always going to be like incorporated into the into the video, because I'm still using this lamp here. It's mint. I used that on me John and Groats trip, and it was brilliant in the van, like fire maple. Singing the praises of fire maple. It's just, just come up with some great stuff last year. That stove and uh, that light. That light's great. I love that lamp. Um. But yeah, I'm just gonna get practical things, you know, like I'm not gonna take torches and um what well, saying that like the head torch. This head torch is really good. And it's things like that. I'm I'll keep using them, you know. Like I've used this tent again. I'm using this tent again. In the winter when I'm out in it. So I think if anything's if it's good, I'll use it. And I'll say it's good. If it's crap, I'll say it's crap. So, uh, so anyway, keep an eye out for some new stuff coming. Right, I'm going to put the radio on, I think. That's something else I got as well, still using that. The August DAB radio. That's brilliant. The battery lasts forever on that thing. Um, but I'm going to put the radio on now. I've got Craig Charles coming up at six. And then I think I'll get the tea on because I'm a little bit hungry. I've got some, I've got some nuts to nibble on. Mate, run. And some ruined buns. Look at that. Stain of them, man. Christ. <laughs> right, well then. That's it. Here we go, then, anyway. We're off cooking. Wagyu burgers in. They're a bit thick, like. Like that. Maybe two is too many, I might just have one. Keep one for tomorrow. I did that once before. I made two burgers. Couldn't eat them. And I took one home. And I put it in the um I put it in the microwave. Shouldn't have done that like. Don't put burgers in the microwave. That's me advice. Top tip. Here we go. Hold on a minute. I can... Oh, I can turn that light up. Um, there they are bubbling away. Wag yo. Wag yo. With ruined buns. Alright. Alright. Looks like it's talking out the corner of its mouth, doesn't it? Alright, right. Oh, I am a uh, seeded brioche bun, right? You know what I mean? See the torn one that there. Yeah, man. Anyway, I'm going to stick some cheese on. Smoot each other. And we'll just turn that down a bit. It's spitting. Somebody said, is this not a little bit close? Well, yes, that, that bit there is. Because if I have it any further that way, it's just sort of sagging in a bit. So you're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, really. If the, if there was no wind, the wind's coming straight in the door. I'd have that open if there was no wind. So I can't really win, but you know. It's all right, that wipes off, man. It wipes off. It's now, it's only a few splashes. Oh dear. So I think they are nearly done. Took the edges, because they're so thick. They must be at least that thick, which is good, good value. It's only three forty-nine. Um, I've got this beer on, a heathen. I can't turn it around. You know, when your hands are dead dry, when you cold, cold hands. Look at that, they're shiny. They're so cold and dry. They're shiny. I hate dry hands. No grip, no grip. Right, anyway, so we're going to batch these up and get on with it. And we'll come back in a second. 
Yeah, we're going then. Look, one's in. One's in the bun. One in the bun. Equals two in the hot bird bush. Don't know. Hot. Oh my god. Oh, I don't see. Mm hmm. It's worth paying the extra for the wagyu. Oh. Oh. It's hot. Like, this is melts in your mouth. Unreal. Oh, oh, God, that was nice. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I hate, right? It's chew, chew, chew noises. Chewing noises. Yeah. Horrible. So I'm going to turn the camera off and we're going to have that. Probably have that. Oh, it's really, really tasty though. Mmm, that's a tasty burger. A big kahuna burger. Now I think... I think I'll call these... A big kahuna burger. Holy shit. It's hot though. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm sitting cross-legged. Look at this, <laughs> look at this smoke coming off it. Yeah, I'll have that. Then we'll just chill out. Had me shout out off Craig Charles. And, I'm not that really. Just, that's it. Right, I'm wearing my sunglasses because, um, well, because of Craig Charles. And also, because this light is so bright. And I'm a little bit sensitive to light. Well, I've had um, I've had my burgers, my burgers, and a couple of beers. Oh, I don't think I'm going to drink all the beer. Like, is, is the light is that light on? I think it is. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to drink all my beers. It's just too cold. It's too cold, and I'm like not 100%. You know, not 100% beer capability, capacity, capability, ability. Compatibility. So I probably won't drink that. Got three cans left. I only had three cans. It's uh, nine, nine something now, was it? No, oh, 25 to 10. That's been all right. It's been good. It's lovely and uh, a lovely and clear out there. Starry, starry night. I might paint my palette blue and grey. Look out on a winter's day night. about it really. I might put the camera out and see if I can get any stars. You know do that star trail right? There's um the the star trail feature on the camera is good but it picks up light as well so if I put it behind the tent and leave the little lantern on inside the tent it might make a good video. Well, it might make a nice little a nice little time lapse thing. I'll see. I'll see what it looks like. But as for now, I think I'm done filming in here. I'm just um, I'm just chatting with Chris from Blot Outdoors. It basically, Blot Outdoors. He sent us he sent us um, a nice congratulatory message about the Newcastle Sunderland derby. Cheers, Chris. Appreciate it. <laughs> <coughs> I won't repeat what he said. But it had it had the word and in it and it had also the word off in it and that's about the only that's all about all I can say without getting censored <laughs> it's all banter man it's all banter blot outdoors watch the, watch this space I'll try and get out with him one of these nights oh I can imagine it would be hell hell because you know, all he's gonna do is just whinge about the football and oh, we're, we're crap, we cannot win out. We're just no good. Andy, how how's your team so good? How can Sunderland be as good as Newcastle? I'm like, ah, oh, Chris, you know, it's all in the history, man. He's never gonna ever be as good as us. That's it. He's gonna have to accept it, man. You're just gonna have to accept it, put up with it, live with it. Look up to us, as you should. <laughs> you know I'm only being serious. 
Anyway, right, I'm gonna knock this, knock this camera off now. I'm gonna have a, another beer, listen to the radio for a bit. And um, well, that's it really, done. Done for the night, and we'll get up in the morning, we'll see what tomorrow brings. The thing is, right, you've got, you've got to lie in in the morning, haven't you? You didn't get light till like half eight. I can't lie in till half eight, I don't know about anybody else. I'm always up at six o'clock, man, like, wide awake. I, t I force myself to stay in the tent, but I don't sleep, I just lie. I just lie here, put the radio on, I just lie there. Right, so, um, yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm just spouting shite. So, we'll catch it in the morning, eh? Bless you. Bless you. For sticking with it. Where I would have told you to... St Nothing. Stillness of the early morning. Hmm. Oh, God. There's a, a real chill in the air. I got up about, I got up about four o'clock to get a natural break and to bring the camera in from the night lapse. The battery died, unfortunately. That was looking good. Okay. Um, and as I came in, just as, just when I got in, the rain started. I was mad. The timing, the timing was spot on. The rain came just as I come in the tent. So. That worked out alright. I don't know how to clear all this mess up, man. Look at that big pan full of fat. And it's I've got some bin bags. I've actually got a... I've got a roll of them somewhere. Alright, I'm going to bring a roll of bin bags. So I'll double bag it. And then transport it home. I'll clean it out that way. So I'm going to put the kettle on. A nice cup of tea and then slow pack. Didn't drink my beer. Tell you, I'm not reet. There's another can there. There's a can there. So only had three cans. Two and a half because the last one I had, I tipped it out. I tipped it. Not right at all, but uh, you know, it's probably a good thing. I'm messing you up. Slip, all right. It's level enough. That's okay. It's a bit thin like, but it's the job done. Pillow was alright. Bag was warm. That's all you need. That's all you need. Right then, hold on. Let's get ready to rumble. As Frank Sinatra said. Here we go. <coughs> <coughs> hey, that's where I was. I found out it's a popular spot, this. <laughs> There's somebody that was here the other night. I said on Instagram there. Follow me on Instagram. <coughs> oh dear me. Van Campen channel out. Tonight you'll see that before you see this video. Uh, well, actually it's my main channel. It's just the second half of that John O'Groats trip. Not much content really, because I didn't took bad, didn't I? Whoo, there's a sliver of a moon. So yeah, so we're gonna go down into this village here. But to get to that, I mean, there is a direct route straight down, but it's dead steep and muddy. So you go around and down that way. So that's steamed up. All right, so. First camp of 24 done. Hope you enjoyed that. Not much to it really. I'm just breaking myself in gently because knocks you for six, that illness like. 
anybody who's had it, you'll know what I mean. It just takes the breath away. I'm hoping I'll get back, get a nice shower, hot shower, get some lunch later on, and then I've got to go back to work tomorrow. Boo! I was in on Friday, like, but properly back tomorrow, everybody's back tomorrow. And then hopefully out at the weekend, see how I feel, see what the weather's doing, and all that. So, from the Cheviots, we'll make like Lindisfarne and we'll run for home. Oh, you see, that is an actual song. As Sheena Easton once said, 